Hi guys, today I've got a special treat. Today we're going to be reading a book called Fly Guy Presents Weird Animals. Here's Fly Guy and that's by Todd Ar or Ted Arnold. <clears throat> Move this. A boy had a pet named Fly Guy and Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz said, being an animal would be weird. Let's learn more about them. Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy arrived at the science museum. They were there to see the weird animals exhibits. I can't wait to see the cool creatures inside. Let's go, Fly Guy. Yes. Buzz and Fly Guy went to the first display. The pink fairy armadillo is the smallest armadillo alive today. An adult is only five to six inches long. These tiny creatures have pink armor covering their furry body. Only a few pink fairy armadillos have been spotted in the wild. Furry fairies. Pink fairy armadillos use their front claws to dig underground burrows. They sleep during the day and live alone. They live in the dry, sandy grasslands of central Argentina. Naked mole, mat, <laughs> naked mole rats live in underground burrows in East Afri Eastern Africa. They have a wrinkly, mostly hairy, hairless bodies, and they are nearly blind. Whiskers on their faces and tails help them feel their surroundings. A naked mole rat colony has a queen and many workers. Workers dig, worker rats dig new tunnels using their strong teeth. You can see it in this picture. They can move their teeth separately like chopsticks. So chopsticks go. So it sounds like they can move each one separately. Naked mole rats can live for 30 years, for more than 30 years. Wow. Making burrows. Prairie dogs live in underground burrows. They are found in the central and western grasslands of the United States. Atlantic ghost crabs dig burrows in the sand. The burrows can be four feet deep. The crabs crawl underground to hide from the sun. They also hide from predators like raccoons, shorebirds, and gulls. Eastern chipmunks store food in, for the winter in their burrows. They gather nuts and seeds. They, then they hide them in, un, in an underground chamber. The chamber can be up to 10 feet long. Okay, so this whole section is called making burrows, but they don't tell me what a burrow is. But if I use the pictures around the text, I can kind of figure it out. So a burrow looks like a tunnel to a, a safe hole or place where they can live. And down here, they said, they hide them in underground chambers. So these burrows or tunnels go to a chamber, which is like an opening or open area. I wish they had a picture of that. Monitor lizards or goannas in Western Australia build corkscrew shaped burrows. They can be eight to 10 feet deep. Wow, long tunnels. The lizards can lay their eggs in a chamber at the bottom. This keeps them safe until they hatch. Cozy. Arctic foxes live in burrows that have up to 100 entrances. Can you imagine having 100 doors to your house? During a blizzard, both Arctic foxes and polar bears will dig chambers into the snow. This keeps them warm and safe. So in this picture, we can kind of see more what I was talking about, this open area, this open chamber that will keep them safe in the inside or under the ground. Zzz. It's like he's snoozing with some suntan lotion. The ocean is full of weird animals like the Portuguese man of war. This creature isn't a jellyfish. It isn't a single animal either. It's a sci... Let me see, siphonophore, Sin siphonophore, a group of identical clones that work together as one. Sometimes when we don't know how to say a word, there's words right after that show you how to say it. Siphonophore, siphonophore. Each Portuguese man-o-war has a blue or purple bubble shaped like a sail. 
This bubble floats on top of the water. It is pushed along by the wind or ocean currents. Underwater 30 to 160 feet, 65 foot long tentacles trail along. That's like having legs that were 30 feet long or 165 feet long. The tentacles catch small fish and crustaceans and sting them with poisonous venom. So crustaceans are just like crabs. When a Portuguese man of war sting, when while a Portuguese man of war sting is painful to humans, it isn't usually deadly. Man of war? I'm all about peace and love, man. <laughs> the sea is at home to an, another misunderstood creature, the giant squid. Very few have been seen in the wild. This is because they live deep down in the oceans. For years, people thought these giants were fictional kraken. Sailors believe this sea monster hunted and sank, sank huge ships. Yikes. Giant squids have the largest eyes of any animal in the world. They're as big as basketballs. So our eyes, not quite as big as basketballs. Imagine eyes as big as basketballs. The first photo of a live giant squid was taken in Japan in 2004. In real life, giant squid are not monsters. They are cephalopods. Squid, octopus, cuttlefish, and nautilus are all types of cephalopods. So here's, and if you don't know what each of these are, this is a squid, this is an octopus, this is a cuttlefish, and this is a nautilus. And all of them are part of the same kind of animals called cephalopods. Giant squid live all over the word, world. They grow to be 43 feet long. Some scientists believe that they may grow to be even bigger. Most weigh about a thousand pounds. Deep ocean discoveries. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place on earth. This canyon is in the Western Pacific Ocean. It is more than 1500 miles long and 43 miles wide. The deepest point is almost seven miles below the ocean surface. It is very dark in the Mariana Trench. The sea devil anglerfish uses a built-in headlight to lure prey. Deep sea hatchet fish have bioluminescent bodies. These tiny skinny fish can brighten or dim or their glow to hide from predators. So bioluminescence, bio means life, and loom or luminous, that means lit up or light. Um, so their bodies, the way that they live makes a light happen. So basically it tells you in the sentence right after these tiny skinny fish can brighten or dim their glow. So they glow. They're a living thing that just glows on its own. Ocidax worms, also called zombie worms, survive by eating fish bones and dead animals. They use special bacteria to turn the bones into food. Amphipods, amphipods are huge shrimp-like crustaceans. Those in the Mariana Trench can be more than a foot long. Scientists think small molecules in their cells can help them survive the intense water pressure. So earlier they mentioned crustaceans, but in case you didn't know, so shrimp are crustaceans, all shellfish are, are usually crustaceans. So like shrimp, lobsters, those are all crustaceans, crabs. Um, this deep, the water is pitch black and freezing and cold. The pressure is crushing. The animals that live there have adapted in surprising ways. The blobfish was discovered off the coast of New Zealand in Australia in 2003. It was once voted the world's ugliest animal. This misunderstood creature lives at depths of 2,000 to 4,000 feet underwater. Each blobfish is about a foot long and weighs up to 20 pounds. So here's the ocean surface, here's the ocean's bottom. Um, so the pressure on the surface is not as much as if you keep going down, down, down deep into the ocean. Sometimes you can feel this like even when you dive into the deep end of a pool, you start to feel the pressure at the very bottom of the pool versus at the top, it doesn't feel like things are pressing down as much. The blobfish was, has very soft bones like a jellyfish. Its gelatinous body is only slightly denser than water. At sea level, this makes the blobfish look droopy and weird, but down deep, this strange 
and strange looking fish is a survivor. A blobfish can survive water pressure that would crush a submarine. And that's what that picture was showing. When it comes to odd animals, the duck-billed platypus tops the list. Like other mammals, the platypus is warm-blooded. It has a backbone and it feeds its young milk. But the platypus lays eggs like a reptile. It also has webbed feet and a bill like a bird. And all unusual for a mammal. Most mammals have live birth. They don't lay eggs. What's more, male platypus have a poisonous stinger in the back of their feet. These make them one of the world's most venomous mammals. Platypus live in rivers and wetlands in Eastern Australia. They hunt underwater and they paddle with their webbed feet and steer with their big beaver-like tails. The echidna, or I think I said that right, the echidna is the only other mammal in the world that lays eggs. Venomous mammals. Most mammals use their sharp claws and teeth to catch prey and defend themselves. But there are a few mammals that use venom too. A venomous stinger on a male platypus. The slow loris may look cute, but this primate has a deadly bite. When threatened, the slow loris licks venomous glands under its arm. That, that, this gives its saliva a poisonous tick or poisonous kick. The North American short-tailed shrew uses its venomous saliva to paralyze insects and worms. It then stores them to eat later. A preserved mealworm can last for two weeks. This endangered Hispaniolan solenodon so, has a toxic bite. It is related to the hedgehogs, moles, and shrews. It lives in the forests of Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Vampire bats use their sharp teeth to bite and drink their blood. Venom in the bat's saliva isn't deadly. It keeps the cow's blood from clotting so the bat can eat. At two to three feet, this creature may look like a miniature dragon, but it is really a frilled lizard. It is one of the strangest sights in the forest of the Northern Australian, Southern New Guinea. This reptile has a thin piece of skin around its neck called a frill. The frill usually lies flat. If the lizard feels threatened, surprise, it opens its yellow mouth and unfolds a colorful fan of skin. This scares off predators. So they kind of like go and it like scares the predators because it makes them look bigger. Ooh, I can see why they would be scared. Many animals can make themselves look, to, look bigger to be scary. That is just plain weird. Fleas are small flightless insects. They survive by eating the blood of animals or people. There are more than 2,500 species of flea. The most common is the cat flea. The cat flea lives on dogs, cats, and humans. These tiny pests can carry diseases, including the bubonic plague. Itches. What do you call a happy flea? A hoptomist, a hoptimist, uh -huh, because an optimist is someone who is happy and positive. So optimist because the fleas hop. Fleas are incredible jumpers. A single flea can leap up to 200 times its own length. One flea can lay 50 eggs a day. From 1830 to the 1960s, flea circuses were popular in England and Germany. Miniature displays showed fleas performing by jumping through hoops, they also operated tiny machines, carriages, Ferris wheels, or carousels. Wacky and weird, Q&A. Even ordinary animals have unusual features. Which animal has sensors on its face that can help it navigate in the dark? A cat. Which animal's nose produces a special mucus that absorbs scents? A dog. Which animal is the fastest swimmer? A Gen 2 penguin. Which animal's dad gives birth to their babies? Seahorses, pipefish, and sea dragons. Which animal tastes with its body, wings, and feet? Flies, but so do butterflies. Which animal has about 14,000 teeth in rows on its tongue? 
a garden snail. Wow. Which animal has fingerprints that look just like a human's? A koala. The human species has caused many changes to Earth's ecology. It is more important than ever for scientists to study the many forms of life on our amazing planet. There is still so much we don't know about the natural world. Every year, scientists describe and name hundreds of new plants and animal species. The tiny, bright, neon-colored coral fish, or Tosinoides aphrodite, was named after Aphrodite. She was a Greek goddess of love and beauty. The largest group of species discovered in 2019 was beetles. One of those, Neloptodes, Grote, I'm not sure if I'm saying this Latin words correctly, was named after the Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg. Okay, I'm not sure how I see that that's her name. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. New species. I will name it Buzz Bugsby. I can't believe how many weird animals are all around me, said Buzz, including you, fly guy. You are really weird. Yes, Buzz and Fly Guy head home. They were excited to plan their next adventure. 